Oh, come on, seriously? The battery is dead again. I need to charge the phone. Alright. Well, seriously? All of these cables? Well, guys, how many of you have suffered from this problem? I do all the time. So, have you ever thought about a better alternative for this? Well, I got, a, I got an idea. What about if we can charge our phones and our devices wirelessly? Well, is that possible? If so, how does it work? Well, guys, in this video, I will try to answer all of these questions. Hi guys, I hope that you enjoyed my weird acting over there. I know that it was awesome, but seriously guys, have you ever thought about it? You might already using this technology without being aware of it, such as an electric toothbrush and the new charger pads. Both of these examples are works by wireless charging or also known as inductive coupling. Well, to explain further, let's get back to 1831 when Michael Faraday discovered for the first time the link between electric current and the magnetic field. So he brought to light the phenomena of induction. But what is induction? Well, the mathematics are kind of complicated to understand this, so let's make it easy and try an experiment. Yeah. Whenever you direct an electric current through a coil, there is a natural phenomenon that occurs, that a circular magnetic field is created around the coil. And if you take a second coil that doesn't have an electrical current passing through it, and place that coil within the magnetic field of the first coil, the electrical current from the first coil will travel through the magnetic field and start it running through the second coil. And that is what's called induction and it's been understood for more than a century. So, induction is what charges our toothbrush and our cell phones. And it works well over an extremely short distance. So, now we have solved the problem, right? We can charge our devices wirelessly. But, transmitting energy at a longer distance has been always the challenge. But, don't worry guys. There is some good news. Recently, it turns out that there is a, an MIT team of researchers that invented a new method of transmitting energy at a much greater distance. So, with a simple trick of physics, power is transmitted wirelessly.